Hello everyone, and welcome back to Shovel Knight. I'm continuing my All Achievements playthrough, and today we're focusing on the achievement Curio Conquest, where I need to use only Curios to defeat any boss. And today I'm also going to focus on finding the last of the Red Skulls. I don't have very many left. So we'll do those two, and then I'll probably be starting a new playthrough because a lot of the other achievements require new playthroughs. As well as new game plus. So, okay, I uh, have to do... I've got two skulls in the lich yard I have to find, so I might as well attempt this achievement on each boss where I need to find skulls. Oh, I found one! Er, that's one, I just need one more now. Wait, so how do I get over there? I know there's not a red skull there, because I don't see one, but it's suspicious. I'm nearing the end and I'm still missing one of the skulls. I'm not sure where it could be. Oh. Well, that wasn't a skull, but that was nice to find. Well, since I met the boss, I missed one skull, so I need to come back in this stage, but let's attempt this. Now, I think maybe the throwing the spider scythe might be the best option against him. The, the phantom lich. Because he's mostly on the ground and I can throw these at him. But I've just now realized that how am I going to regain darkness for this? I should have used a different armor. There's one that lets you regain darkness. But anyway, this should be simple because... I can just throw these and... Wait. It doesn't hurt him? It's not hurting him. Well, that was a waste. How much damage does this do? I guess this is just a test. That just... In exchange for one bar, it does one health damage. Okay. And this... Is also most of a bar, and I didn't even... Get him there. Okay, I'm just gonna end this and I'll come back for the last skull. And I'll, I think I'll be more prepared for the boss. I know where it is! Okay, I found out where the red skull is, and it's- Okay, it's in a secret room that I didn't think I could access. Also, I need to change my armor while I'm here, and then I'll get right back to it. Alright, the red skull is coming up here. Now, I saw this room before, but what I never saw before was that you could break this. Do I assume that you access this room through a section on this side? This room actually leads to a section on this side, and that's the only way to get to this area. And now I got the last skull. Now let me just make it to the boss and attempt this Curio Conquest achievement. Oh, I could have broken this. So I guess if I fail on the boss, I can give it another attempt. Okay, now how am I gonna do this? I think I'll just keep my distance, and then just use Judgment Rush whenever I've recharged. I feel like that'll work pretty well. Oh, I need to also time my attack so that I don't hit him during his invincibility. Oh, it charges really slowly. Darn. He can dodge me as well. This boss is gonna take a while. Okay, right after, I can hit again. Now. He's got five hits. I need to charge this five more times. Darn. Keep hitting him when he's invincible. 
he and he's dodging me as well. I didn't hit him that time either. For some reason, I didn't think he was invincible. And then he dodged again. Oh, this is tormentous. Finally, I got a hit on him. He's gotten way more hits on me. And now he's trapped me in here. Yeah, this probably isn't gonna work out, but at least I have one more attempt at this. Darn. Alright, I get one more attempt and I can break the checkpoint for my power-up. And then otherwise, I'm gonna have to restart. Okay. I've heard him quite a bit, and I think next time I hit him, he'll go into next phase. So I'm gonna try to gain as much darkness as possible before that. And then I think the trick to the next phase is to only... Oh wow, that nearly hit me. Is to only use my ability when he's about to hit me. Because then it guarantees I get out of the spot that I'm likely trapped in when he hits me. And I might get damage out of it. I feel like now would be a good time to use it, because he trapped me. So that's how the second phase is going to go. Forgot I need to con constantly dodge lightning now. Yeah, I'm trapped again, I'm sure. Oh, okay. When he jumps down here, I can attack. Now I'm out of here. Oh, almost. Almost out of there. He's got one more hit on him. I'm just gonna do it. There we go, there we go, I got it! There we go, feat accomplished. Curio Conquest. Next, I have Skulls on the Stranded Ship, Power of Fate Entrance, and Lost City. So, I'll go ahead and explore the Stranded Ship. Oh, there's a skull up there. Oh, I need to use the slime to get up there. I must have just straight up ignored it last time when I was here. Anyway, free skull. There's another one up there. These are simple. I don't know why I didn't get them before. And there's another one over there. But this... Could be an issue? No, I got it just fine. How many more do I have? Only three. Oh. That's another simple skull, isn't it? Very simple. Got two more left. Okay, there's gotta be a red skull here. Yep. There we go. I think it's just two more now? Oh, one more skull. Okay, the next one's probably behind this dude here. Yep, here's another one. Wait, so was that the last one? Yep, that's all the ones in this level. Let me move on. Let me finish it with the boss.
Holy shit. Whoa. That, the skeleton carried that fight. Skeleton is such a good item. I didn't even realize his health was going down that fast. Alright, where the stage is over, I think next I'll do the Tower of Fate entrance. And honestly, I'm not even going to bother exploring for it. I'm just going to look it up because I feel like that's going to be like one of the most hidden skulls in the entire game. Okay, I think I know what room it is. I don't fully remember all the skulls I've collected and not collected here, but there's a room with a bunch of green jumping jelly. With a secret wall, which I assume I just skipped past because that room is stressful and scary. Okay, this is the room. There's a wall to the left, which I don't think I ever broke. Just so that I can get past this area. Yep, there's the skull. Alright, let me just get to the boss again. Um, according to this, there's only one skull left, which is in Lost City. But I'm missing 99. So where am I going to find that last skull? Let's just get this one in Lost City. And since it's only one, I'm going to look up where that one is as well. Okay, I think I know where this one is. I look at a bunch of images of where they are, and they honestly seem like pretty obvious. Except for... I saw somebody mention something about there being a hidden area at the end of the... at the... near the end of the level. But I didn't see a picture to go with it, so I'm kind of just going off of nothing. Okay, I'm in the area. Now I think I need to somehow climb over the right wall. And I don't know if that's possible. It's possible. And there's my skull. But how the hell am I gonna get back from this? Okay, how do I get over there? And come back. Okay, I need to game this out. How can I possibly... Hold on a second, can I? Oh! Oh wait, I already had the skull. I didn't know the skull saved, okay? But I figured out how to do this, you can just run between them. And, like, the automatic jump you do from reaching the top of a ledge will not break it. Alright, boss is over. We've got the last red skull that I can collect anyway. I'll be at 99 skulls after this. I think. I'll turn him in and see what happens. Maybe that means there's a skull hidden around the tower. I don't know if that's possible, though. Ten more red skulls. Um, yeah, I have one left. Um, I'm gonna run around a bit and see if I come up with something, and then I think I'll look it up or something. Okay, so this last- there are three skulls in the hub area, which obviously wouldn't tell you about. Because you can't view that on the map. Now there's supposed to be one there in the skating area I just passed. And there's a breakable wall over here with another one. Here it is, the last red skull. I never checked that. Let's go give it to Red. That's the last one. Well done, thanks. I've prepared a little surprise. Follow me once more into the tower depths. Is it another dance? Is that my reward? Oh, this is... Do you look at this rubble? How... What possibly could have happened here? Who could say? There's my achievement.
Here's what I found. I want you to have it. Donovan. <gasps> Donovan set. Oh, that's cool. Impeccable, isn't it? Really? It's like it was made just for you. I found these alongside it. Not quite magical enough for my taste. Oh, the Caltrops. Oh, wow. I get all the Donovan stuff. The pleasure's mine. Both of us might be a touch sentimental for the undead life. That's cool. I wanna, I'm gonna put it on right now. I'm gonna play out through the, the entirety of the new game plus like this. Oh, I'm wearing it! These Caltrops do kind of suck though. I can only have two down at once. What does skating look? Because Donovan never gets to skate. Oh, it's just on his sword. And then that fills out the last spot here. I was wondering why there was a last spot for my curio. And it doesn't seem like, it, like I can upgrade the Caltrops either. I thought I would be able to. But now it's pretty basic. And I, I did... I never questioned the spot there either. Anyway, let's take another look at the achievements. This is where it's going to end today for here. And next time, I will begin New Game Plus. We're going to play through the entirety of New Game Plus. Or I might do Naked Spectre, the game without any upgrades. And if I do Naked Spectre, there's something else I can do with that as well. I can... Strive for make a killing, finish the game while holding 60,000 gold. Scythe economy, I can do another time. Wait, is that it? There's only like five achievements. Wait, there's seven? There's seven achievements left. Okay, next time I'm either starting a new playthrough for the no upgrade challenge or I'll be starting new game plus with the new cool Donovan set. Well, anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.